Welcome to my YouTube channel about Morocco. If you're interested in learning more about this beautiful country, its culture, and its people, then you've come to the right place. I'll be creating videos on a variety of topics, including travel, food, history, and more. I'm also open to suggestions, so if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Whether you're a Morocco enthusiast or just curious to learn more about this fascinating country, I hope you'll enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Larache is a beautiful city located in the northwest of Morocco on the Atlantic coast. It is known for its stunning beaches, its whitewashed medina, and its relaxed atmosphere. Larache is also a great place to experience traditional Moroccan culture. The city is home to a number of historical mosques, salks, and traditional Moroccan restaurants. Larache is also a popular destination for bird watchers. The city is located on a major migratory bird route, and it is home to a variety of bird life, including the Fayumi chicken. Fayumi chickens are a native breed of chicken from Egypt. They are known for their hardiness, their good egg production, and their resistance to diseases. Here is a design for an outdoor chicken coop for Fayumi chickens that is suitable for the climate. In Laraketa Mansion's 10 feet long x 8 feet wide x 6 feet tall construction, the coop should be made of sturdy materials, such as wood or metal. The coop should be raised off the ground to prevent flooding well, and to deter predators. Roof the coop should have a sloping roof to prevent water from cooling. The roof should also be shingled or covered with another waterproof so, material. Walls the walls of the coop should be solid to protect the chickens from the elements. The walls should also have vents to allow for ventilation. Door the coop should have a door that is large enough for you to enter and exit easily. The door should also be secure to protect the chickens from predators. Nesting boxes the nesting boxes should be placed in a quiet area of the coop. The nesting boxes should be filled with clean straw or shavings. Perches the perches should be placed in a high area of the coop. The perches should be sturdy and should be placed at different heights so that the chickens can choose the height that they prefer. Dust bath area, the dust bath area can be placed in any area of the coop. The dust bath area should be filled with sand and wood ash. In addition to the above, you may also want to consider the following when designing your outdoor chicken coop for Fayumi chickens. In Larisha shade, the coop should have some shade to protect the chickens from the hot Moroccan sun. You can provide shade by planting trees or by installing a shade cloth. Wind protection, the coop should be protected from the wind. You can provide wind protection by building the coop in a sheltered location or by installing a windbreak. Drainage the coop should be located in a well-drained area to prevent flooding. With a little planning, you can create an outdoor chicken coop for Fayumi chickens that is both comfortable and secure. Larache, Morocco is a beautiful coastal city known for its stunning beaches, whitewashed medina, and relaxed atmosphere. It is also a great place to experience the natural beauty of Morocco. Here are some of the top places to enjoy nature. In Laracalixus archaeological site, this ancient Roman city is located just outside of La Roche and offers stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean. The ruins of Lixus include temples, baths, and a theater. You can also see a variety of wildlife at Lixus, including flamingos, herons, and egrets. Laudlaucos Nature Reserve, this nature reserve, is home to a variety of bird life, including flamingos, storks, and herons. You can also find a variety of plants and animals in the reserve.
preserved, such as cork oaks, wild boars, and mongoose. Play to Laroche, this beautiful beach is a popular spot for swimming, sunbathing, and water sports. You can also rent a boat and go for a fishing trip or a sunset cruise. Jebel Masa National Park, this national park, is located about an hour from Laroche and offers stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea and the Rift Mountains. You can also hike in the park and see a variety of wildlife, such as monkeys, wild boars, and eagles. If you are looking for a place to relax and enjoy the natural beauty of Morocco, La Roche is a great option. With its stunning beaches, lush countryside, and diverse wildlife, La Roche has something to offer everyone. Today we will build a doghouse in Laroche, Morocco, on the street material Staunter Pillar Cement Syndrome. Tape water resistant seal and chicken wire straw loops optional latch optional what shall we do one. Choose a place for the nursery that is protected from wind and rain. The ground should be flat and well drained. Two. Cut the wood to the size corresponding to the desired dimensions of the kennel. A good rule of thumb is to give each dog for square feet of space. 3. Assemble the frame of the kennel with screws and nails. Make sure the frame is solid and square. 4. Attach the walls and roof to the frame. Screws. Nails or hinges can be used to fix the walls and roof. If you use hinges, you can create a door for a kennel. 5. Seal the kennel with a waterproof sealant to protect it from the weather 
pay special attention. Two seams and cracks six. Attach the wire mesh to the bottom of the kennel so that the dogs cannot escape. Seven, add straw to the kennel to provide a comfortable bed for the dogs. Additional tips make sure that the kennel is well ventilated. You can cut small holes. In the walls and roof for ventilation, always provide dogs with fresh water and food. You can place bowls of food and water outside the kennel or create a small feeding area inside the kennel. Clean the kennel regularly. Remove all wet or soiled straws. Inspect the kennel regularly for damage. Immediately repair any damage so that the dogs don't escape and get injured. Legal considerations, it is important to note that in Morocco there are laws regarding the maintenance of dogs. It is illegal to leave a dog on the street. If you can't take care of your dog, you should find her a new home or take her to a shelter. I hope this information will be useful. Please let me know if you have any more questions. There are a number of dog kennels in Morocco, but it is important to do your research before choosing one to ensure that your dog will be well cared for. Here are a few things to look for when choosing a dog kennel. In Morocco Leoninas, the kennel should be clean and well maintained. Security, the kennel should be secure to prevent dogs from escaping. Exercise the kennel should provide dogs with ample opportunities for exercise. 
Socialization, the kennel should provide dogs with opportunities to socialize with other dogs. Veterinary care, the kennel should have access to veterinary care if needed. Here are a few specific recommendations for dog kennels and more Atlantic dog kennel. In Casablanca dogs with attitudes, D, W, A. In Tangiro Kanish Ranch, in El Gau Dressage, D. Chen's Tang. In Tangier, you can also ask your veterinarian or local pet store for recommendations for dog kennels in Morocco. When choosing a dog kennel in Morocco, it is important to visit the kennel in person and talk to the staff. Ask them about their experience, their policies, and how they care for the dogs. You should also bring your dog to the kennel so that they can meet the staff and the other dogs. It is also important to make sure that your dog is up to date on all of their vaccinations before boarding them at a kennel. This will help to protect your dog from getting sick. I hope this information is helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Oh, that's it. Well, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it.